As far as the upcoming election. Between Kamala and Trump, I think it'll be Trump. I mean, yeah, it's got to be Kamala. I feel it would be better if it's Trump. I am not supporting either Kamala or Trump. Ooh, that is the one. I think neither. And I'm going to take Kamala Harris over Trump. I am not supporting either Kamala or Trump, for I do not feel it benefits any of us to support either of the presidential candidates. I think that if we take the time to observe the way that these are set up, it's very pretentious, and a lot of times it seems very staged. Yeah, it's got to be Kamala for me, just based off of pure, like, her history. She's worked in politics for real. Trump, he was president, but... He wasn't exactly the best president. He didn't. Have, he doesn't have a huge political background, so I'm just going off of, I don't know, common sense. I think Trump would be a better president because the world, the world ain't ready for no one president right now. Because other countries gonna think we soft. We get a woman president because you know a lot of women don't run countries, so they think we gonna think we soft, man. I think Trump better. I think Trump gonna take care of the business. And he gonna get that money away too. <laughs> Kamala Harris all the way. Um, I really hope uh, that she gets the election and makes history and uh, looks out for us. Um, I don't want Project 2020, 2025 to be, you know, having any sort of influence on my day-to-day -day life or the neighbor of my day-to-day -day life. And, you know, uh, I, I really do think that Trump is a threat to, de to democracy and uh, we need to acknowledge that. I would definitely go with Kamala. Um, I'm not happy with either options necessarily, but if I'm choosing one, it would definitely be Kamala. I feel it would be better if it's Trump, but I just basically feel like it, 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 that's, it it's Trump, you know, but even if it's Kamala, then hey, you know, it's still dumped the swamp, but I'm just saying, I, my, my prefer on that, I feel like it should be Donald Trump, he kind of know business, politics, that's the definition of cloud too. I would choose Kamala. I'm all for women's rights, and I don't think a felon should ever be in office, especially because felons can't even vote. I think at the end of the day, me being political science background, um, that they're gonna choose who they want to choose. All this is a game. They distract you to what they really want to pick. All of them have the same agenda at the end of the day. I'm gonna take Kamala Harris over Trump. If I had Trump in office, he's a felon. Uh, let's give this lady a chance. I have a twin of Trump or Kamala. I like. I go to be Trump. Reason I pick Trump because most of of American he's like it. Because most American he's like a Trump of this. Because I'm new here, okay, um, I begin to Trump, okay? Plus, that motherfucker can't talk. Like, he'd just be saying nonsense on uh, the debates. All the candidates say nonsense, but at least Kamala's a proper politician, so she's gonna get my vote. There are so many different things that, so many different ways that our lives are led, that if we took the time to be involved in politics, I feel these things could change. It really starts with having these conversations with each other and finding different ways to get each other involved in these conversations and to make them interesting and to start small.